starting to get a bit colder, I'm going to be making a warming autumnal risotto for tea tonight. And although I'm using a really simple oven bake method, I'm going to include lots of my favourite ingredients. So although it's really, really easy, it's still going to feel a bit special. And the first thing we need to do is warm the pan. Now I'm going to be using a casserole dish and it needs to be flame proof and oven proof. And mine's got a thick base, so I'm just going to start to heat that gently now while I prepare the veg. Almost every risotto starts with onion and garlic. And I'm going to chop it fairly finely and then I'm just cutting it horizontally just so that we get those nice small pieces. Now I'm just going to pop a knob of butter into the pan. And then let's scoop in those onions. Nice sound of the sizzle. <laughs> Next in goes the garlic. I'm going to add one of my favourite ingredients, which are these beef smoked bacon lardons. They're going to be brilliant in this risotto, add lots and lots of flavour. Just going to tip in the whole pack. Then we're going to leave this to cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. I want the onions to be really nice and golden and bring out all of their natural sweetness. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some other vegetables in there like celery or carrots, but I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. Because we've got such fantastic ingredients with really good flavours, I want to be able to taste everything that's going in there. And make sure you've got the heat quite high at this point because we want the bacon to crisp up a little bit. Now, for the rice, I'm using arborio rice, but you can use other types of risotto rice. And you'll see that it's quite a short grain rice. And as it cooks, it becomes really, really creamy and delicious. And it's just the art, really, is to get in the cooking time just right. So it's soft and creamy, but it's still got that tiny touch of bite. Now the onions have started to go translucent and golden. So I'm going to add in that rice now. In it goes. I'm just going to cook it for a minute or two, just to make sure that the grains are coated in the oil. And I don't know whether it's true or not, but the theory is that if the grains are nicely coated in the oil, you get a really nice, shiny risotto at the end. And I'm going to add some sprigs of thyme. You can use whatever herb you fancy here. I think rosemary would work as well. And because I'm going for this autumnal vibe, a combination of thyme, bacon and mushroom, absolutely a winner. I'm going to add a glass of dry white wine now. You need about 125 mils, but if you look in the description below, the full recipe should be there for you. Now the next secret ingredient is this, which is a porcini mushroom paste. It's absolutely loaded with flavour. It gives it that lovely sort of umami richness that you want from your risotto. About a tablespoon of this is going to really work wonders with our risotto. We're going to add our stock. Now, normally when you make a risotto, you cook it very gently, slowly stirring it and adding it label by label. But today we're just going to cut that out and go straight for the oven baked method. So pour the stock in in one go. And make sure it's really nice and hot because what you don't want to do is lower the temperature of the pan. A little bit of seasoning. So straight away it's starting to simmer and just make sure you get any of those bits of rice that might have caught on the bottom. Just get those up. Now for the mushrooms I'm using this fantastic combination of woodland mushrooms and there's a mixture there of oyster, shiitake and king oyster and between them the flavours and the textures are really fantastic. They work amazingly in an omelette and lots of different things. Now I've already washed mine and I'm just going to tear the larger ones into pieces and drop them in and then just cut the shiitake into quite thick slices and drop those in. I'm keeping the pieces really nice and large. Obviously they'll shrink a little bit as they cook, but we should get some really nice pieces in there. And then let's just give this a little stir together. And this is gonna to go to the oven now for about 20 minutes until the liquid's been absorbed and the rice is really nice and creamy. And then we'll be ready to serve it. Ready? Yeah. Nice. It's got mushrooms and bacon and thyme and I'm just going to fluff it up. You can see the rice is really beautifully cooked through. Now can you help me just by sprinkling a bit of that thyme on the top? The final ingredient is our favourite picante gorgonzola. You love this too don't you? Mm, it's really nice. It's really 
it's sharp and tangy and normally you would put parmesan into a risotto and of course you can do, parmesan is really really great with mushrooms and bacon. I just think this gorgonzola gives it that extra bit of bite and creaminess that's delicious. So I'm just going to break a few pieces in. Good work there Fabio. Just crumble it over the top. It doesn't really crumble, it more just sort of tears apart. And then just give that a moment or two. You can put the lid back on if you want, because it will also benefit the rice just to sit for a moment. It'll give the cheese a chance to... But anyway, Fabio, do you want to have a little time to taste now? Yeah, that's really good. It's Go really on. nice colour. Do you think? Yeah. Does it say autumn? I think so. I think so too. Also, that sort of... It, you can imagine that that's going to feel nice in your tummy when you yeah, eat it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, kind of go and like a sit down after. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> you sort of just want to leave the cheese on the top just to do its own thing. But why don't you have a little taste and tell me what you think. Have a little taste, it go. Have a little sneak preview. Oh, I really like. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Is it, is it really nice? It's got loads of different textures. Yeah, and, the mushrooms. and all the different flavour. And I'm just going to serve that, I think, just with a little bit of salad, maybe alongside or after, just sort of to cleanse after. Cool. All right? Thank you very much. Go and enjoy it. Aww. Oh, it's really nice having you in the kitchen, Fabio. I missed you today. Mm, sure you did. I did.